Hello guys, this is from Mrs. Savvy, and welcome to the third part of the spring series called Spring Your Indoor Plants. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the salt buildup that's in your soil and how to get rid of it. And the best way to get rid of it is to flush it. So let me tell you a little about the salt buildup in your plants and where it comes from. It comes from either you fertilizing your plant, using tap water, and it could even be in the potting soil your plants are sitting in or the repotting mix that you use to repot your plants. But for the overall health of your plants, you want to flush out the salt that's built, that has been building up on the soil for a long time. I usually flush my plants out once or twice a year, usually in the spring of the year. I used to do it in April, but this month I'm doing it in March because the, the weather is warmer. And I usually like to do it in the month of or probably September because I live in the southern part of the United States. So September is still sort of warm here. So you want to make sure that you do that so that it won't affect the growth of your plants or the, the roots of your plants. Because your plants have to have nutrients. It's hard for the plants to get the proper nutrients when salt is built up in the soil. So you know, make sure that you flush uh, the soil, that uh, flush your soil from the salt buildup. Now, my husband's getting ready to take these plants right here. These plants come out of my living room, my dining room, and part of my kitchen. And my kitchen, and he's going to take these outside. And he's going to be flushing all the salt buildup if there's any. I don't use fertilizer in my plants from the beginning. And because I don't use a lot of fertilizer, I may or may not have the salt buildup. But just in case I will, uh, my plants do have the salt buildup, we're going to flush them out anyway. Okay, so when I take these outside, my husband will be uh, taking the water hose. And um, we're going to be flushing watering these plants very well and you'll see him do that now you don't have to go outside you could actually use the shower that's what i like to use because i don't like taking my plants outside but you can take them and put them in the shower and give them a good shower and make sure that the water is draining through the drainage hole and you want to do it a lot you want to make sure the issue with doing that if you are flushing your plants and you're flushing them very well, you're going to have to come back possibly and add some more fertilizer. When you're flushing off the salt, that's a possibility you're also flushing off all other nutrients that's in the potting soil. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how I examine my plant and see whether it needs to be fertilized or not. And what I do, I do an experiment with them for a while just to see whether they need to uh, some fertilizer. And most likely when you do that, that great flushing after you've had your plant for over a year, most likely it's going to need a little fertilizer, but you have to be very careful with fertilizing your plants because you could over fertilize them. That's why I'd rather not fertilize than fertilize, but sometimes we don't know the proper amount of fertilizer to use. So anyway, guys, I'm not going to hold you up. I'm going to be, uh, my husband's about to take these plants outside and to water them. So let me show you all the plants I got to walk to off uh, to flush out. I got these on the table here. I also have these right here. Okay. And those in the corners over there. And these right here. These are the first ones that we're going to be uh, taking outside. I have others to do um, before the day is out, and this is a beautiful day to do it. And we're going to be letting them sit outside for possibly about two hours for the leaves to dry. And for uh, mostly those, um, we want to make sure that the water drains off of the soil very well. We don't want soggy soil. We don't want to damage the plant. So make sure that your plants has a proper drainage holes in the bottom before you start this process. And you want to make sure that as you do your plants, you want to check them. Do not let them sit in the same area that you water them. You want to move the pots around. As soon as you finish flushing, take that pot out the drain for a little while and move it into another spot. And I'll be showing you that in a little while. So just stay tuned, guys. We're getting ready to go outside and we're going to flush all the salt build up in the saw. 
But while we do that, would you please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss all the other wonderful videos that we are about to bring to you this spring. Anyway, this is what my husband is doing to get rid of the salt and he's going to be just washing the leaves and then he's going to get to the fall. And this can be a very long video so I'm just going to let him do just a few and then I'm not going to hold you all that long so you can see what he's doing. I'm going to get close down here. And he's putting the water down in the soil, washing off the leaves at the same time, getting rid of all the dust and and he's going to water that soil real good so all the salt can come out of the soil it's going to drain out. Okay, now he's going to do the second one. He already did the leaves. He's washing all the leaves. Getting rid of all the dust. Okay, so guys, that's basically all you need to do is take your plants and you're going to be uh, making sure that you clean the leaves real good with the water hose or the shower and making sure that there's enough water that goes into the soil to wash out all the salt buildup. put the uh, water too powerful because you don't want all your soil to come out. Just another like it like you're seeing in it. And then you don't want to do this on a too bright sunny day because you don't want your the leaves of the plants to burn when the sun is out. You want it to be sort of like um a nice day but not too sunny. Because of course you don't want it to be too cool. Right now I think the temperature here is around 75, 78 degrees or about 80. Oh yeah, it's about 82 degrees. I just checked. 82 degrees here. And now he's on the table and he's just going to spray all the leaves to make sure that they are clean. And now he's into the soil part. Don't want the water too powerful to it's just spray it all around them and they're getting a good, good cleansing and the soil is really being cleansed from the salt. You can also, let me show you this, you can also do it on your sink. You can flush the salt from your sink and I'm going to show you just a little bit how you can do that. And I'm going to use two plants I put up here and the only thing you need to do is just water it real good. See it? Let the water run in it a lot. See how much water is just running in there. You want the water and then you want to stop the water. And you want to let that water there subside. Go all the way down. You want to make sure that it is draining good. Now, sometimes I just sit it in the drain and let it drain real good. And after a while, then you want to do it again. Move it out of there. And you want to put the water there again. Let the water go through the soil to flush out all the salt. 
And then you want to let that sit. And as the water go down, you want to let it go in the drain right there. Okay, I have to sit there for a little while. Now, I'm, I'm on video, so I don't want to take too long to do this. But you might want to take a little bit longer and a little bit more care to do it. So, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it three times. And that way, I know that the salt is being flushed off. And I'm going to sit it there. Okay. And if you think there's a lot, if you use a lot of fertilizer over a period of a year or so, you might want to do it one more time. I didn't use any fertilizer, but it's not going to hurt this plant for me to do that. And let it drain. Okay. And I'm going to sit that one in that part of the sink. And I'm Okay, guys. So uh, we just brought the house plants back in the house. We were out there around about two hours because we wanted the leaves to get dry and they did. It was a beautiful day outside and it didn't take them that long to dry. I mean, we stayed outside, or at least my husband did or myself. One of us was always out there with them because we was trying to make sure that there was no pests that was going to crawl in the soil. So we wanted to be very careful. We didn't want to bring anything from outside, inside, especially any type of pests or insects. So you want to keep an eye on your plants while they're out there. You don't want to leave them. You want to treat them like you're treating your little kids. So you want to watch them while they're out there because they are house plants. Okay, here are the other ones that we brought in and the leaves looks good on all the plants and I'm very proud of how my husband uh, did the flushing of, this, of the salt. And now the only thing I need to do now is to check the plants to see, the soil to see whether I need to add fertilizer. And most likely since he flushed the plants a lot, flushed the soil a lot, a lot of the nutrients from the soil probably ran out with the salt. So drain out with the salt. So I'm probably going to have to fertilize these plants. Also, there's a part one and a part two to this series, Spring Your Indoor Plants. Please make sure you go back and watch those two after you watch this one. Okay, guys, what you see over here is that I'm also getting prepared to uh, do some cleaning of my pots this spring season, like I do every spring season. And uh, on this side, too, these are the pots and things that I decorate uh, my house plants with and my home with. And so I want them clean, so I'm going to clean them. Most of them are already clean. My pots will never get too dirty because I usually do something to them throughout the year cleaner. But I'm just going to just basically go and do a thorough cleaning of them and get prepared for the spring and the summer. And I won't have to do it again probably until the fall of the year. Right, probably right before Thanksgiving time, I do another clean cleansing of these pots. But throughout the throughout the year, I'm going to be... If I see something that's on them that I need to clean, I will go ahead and clean them then. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And please subscribe, comment, share, give this video a thumbs up. And i see you in video number four, which I'm going to be showing you how to clean your pots and how to sanitize them and get them prepared for your house press for the spring. Bye.